Hey folks, uh, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're gonna be looking at some questions using BedMess. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so just a reflection back on the previous video where I did um, intro to BedMess. So if you haven't watched it, um, go check it out. There should be a link somewhere, somewhere. <laughs> but uh, basically BedMess, brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So let's have a look at that first question here. Now, when I have a look at that first question, there is actually two symbols there. We've got a plus and then we've got a times, multiplication. So what we have to do is we actually have to do multiplication first before we can actually do the addition part of it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do 3 times 5, which is 15. So we're going to rewrite this as 4 plus 3 times 5, which is 15. And so we're going to get our answer as 19. Now, having a look at the calculator, if we were to go 4 plus 3 times 5, uh, that's going to give us 19 as well. Uh, looking at question B, uh, we've actually got a division that we need to do first. We should actually pick a different color. That's better. So we're going to do division first, and then after that, we are going to do subtraction. So with that in mind, we've got 18, take away 6 divided by 2 is 3, so 18 take away 3 is going to be 15. Uh, doing this in the calculator, so we've got 18 minus 6 divided by 2, <clears throat> and that equals to 15. Uh, moving on to question C, we pretty much have the same thing as question A here, so, well, actually, no, you know what, I'm going to pause. Maybe give you guys a couple of turns with uh, these questions just to see how you go about it. Right, hopefully you've had a chance to actually do some of these questions here, but um, again, what we're going to do here is we're going to do 6 times 2 first, and then we're going to be doing the addition. Now, be careful, because sometimes people see these questions, and they go 10 plus 6 is 16, and then 16 times 2 is 32. We've got to use the operations here. So multiplication first, and then we're going to do addition. So we're going to get 10 plus 6 times 2, which happens to be 12. So 10 plus 12 is 22. And there's a reason why I've left question D and E almost um, kind of similar here, because I wanted you folks to see the difference between how putting a single bracket could actually change the, uh, the nature of the answer completely. So if we look at question D, we've got 6 plus 15 divided by 3. So we're going to do the division part first. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. And we've got 6 plus 5, which means our final answer here is going to be 11. I'm just going to put that through the calculator. So we got 16 plus 15 divided by 3, and that's going to be 11. However, in question E, even though the numbers are the same, we've actually got uh, something a little bit important, which is the brackets. So we have to do the brackets uh, first. So doing the brackets first in this case is going to be 6 plus 15, which is 21. And 21 divided by 3 is actually 7. So as you can see here, and again, I'm going to put this in the calculator. So if I go 6 plus 15 divided by 3, let's put that as 15, and that's going to equal 7. So as you can see, by putting that bracket in, we're getting a completely uh, different answer there. And this is something that um, we just need to keep in mind uh, when we're actually going through some of these uh, bed mass calculations. Well, that's just a quick little intro to um, bed mass. And then we'll, I've got two more uh, videos following this one which should uh, go into a little bit more trickier questions, hopefully. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.